to the channel. So today we're going over this cool D minor seven lick that you heard in the intro. And if you like these types of licks, please like and subscribe and leave a comment for the algorithm. It really helps. So <clears throat> we're going to start off by playing the 14th fret here on the G string. We're hitting that with a down pick. Then we're going to hammer on to fret number 17 on the same string. So that's our perfect fifth in our D minor seven arpeggio and then we're hammered on to the minor seventh in our D minor seven arpeggio then we're going to hit the 15th fret which is a root note on the B string with a down pick so you have down hammer down and then we're going to hit the minor third which is fret number 13 on the high E string with a down pick so you have down hammer down down and then we're going to hammer on then to the perfect fifth and then we're going to pull off to your minor third then we're going to do an up pick on our root, up pick then on our minor 7th, pull off to our 5th, hammer on to our minor 7th, hammer on to our root. So in terms of fingerings, you can go pinky, 1st, 3rd, 4th, or you could go just go to the third finger straight away, whatever works for you. Um, and then what we're going to do is hit the 18th fret there on the B string. That is acting as our minor third. Then we're going to do a down pick there on the 17th fret on the high E string then, which is acting as a perfect fifth. Hammer on to the 20th fret, which is our minor seventh. Hammer on to the 22nd fret, which is our root. Pull off, pull off. Okay, so, so far. Down, down, hammer, hammer, pull off, pull off. Then we're going to do an up pick. Then we're going to do an up pick here. Okay, and then we're going to do a pull off there. So that's our root. Pull off to your minor seventh. Then we're going to play our perfect fifth with an up. Then we're going to play a minor third with an up. Pull off to our root. So that we are you in itself. So to end it, we're going to play our octave, set up to its major second, or ninth, and then end our flat and seventh. So the whole arpeggio then, nice and slow.